And the most likely time to conceive is the couple of days leading up to ovulation and the day of ovulation. It may be possible to conceive earlier than that, five days leading up to ovulation, but optimally it's only a couple of days before ovulation. The sperm uh, can survive in the female reproductive tract for up to five days. However, you wouldn't want to count on it. It's probably most likely that sperm will arrive, will survive in good numbers for up to 48 hours after ejaculation. In regarding to the egg, once the egg's released at ovulation, it's likely to survive 12 hours, maybe up to 24, but probably more like 12. There are various ways to track natural signs. However, unfortunately, a lot of women don't get these. But if women do get changes in cervical mucus, they can um, observe changes leading up to ovulation. And also some women are checking temperatures. I personally think it's quite hard work to be taking a temperature at the same time every day. Um, but some women like to uh, feel like they're, they're getting an understanding or idea of their cycle. Many people these days are using an app on their phone that gives them an idea when the fertile women window is. This seems quite a common thing for people with smartphones, but certainly people have been conceiving long before smartphones were invented. To make sure you've got the best chance of conceiving, um, it's often good to have a look at lifestyle issues. And probably the most important one is try and stop smoking if you are smoking, either on the male or female side. Um, general knowledge of the cycle and frequent intercourse around ovulation, such as every day or every second day. And um, at the end of the day, it's often a bit of luck as well. It's suggested that a couple should seek medical advice if uh, they're trying for some time already and haven't conceived naturally. That would probably be if they've been trying for 12 months, if the female's under the age of 35, or if they've been trying for six months if the female's over the age of 35. It's a real joy and a privilege to work with people who are finding difficulty in their lives and being able to help them is ultimately very rewarding.